Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Channel Smith Shack's Custom Base. Rick Smith Shack here. Once again, we're in the storage unit. But, okay, now we're going to explain why. Um, I was living with my son. He, he insisted that when I, when I left my, my ex, that, um, that they weren't going to let me go to Florida by myself. That I, that I was going to go, that I was going to come live with them. And so I did. I figured it would be better to, to be with people who cared about me. Um, than it would be to be, be alone. Um, I got VA healthcare uh, while I was here. Um, but, so that was helpful. My son helped me get that. Um, but come to find out, my son it was still angry about something that happened 25 years ago when he was 15. He's 40 now. Um, he'd been stealing from us. He was he was a, what you call a troubled teen. He, uh, he acted out because his mom and stepdad because he didn't like their behavior towards him or at least that's what he says he that his behavior you know he didn't like what they were doing so so he didn't care what they said or what and whatnot but um his behavior was so bad that his mom sent him to me well by the time she sent him to me it was too late really and in retrospect looking back it was too late well we set rules and he set the consequences and then he proceeded to turn around and break every single rule over and over and over he spent more time grounded and without privileges than he did with, with, his, with his freedom. Um, <clears throat> then we discovered he was stealing from us. And the theft was so bad that we had to, I had to put a deadbolt lock on our bedroom door. And we had to lock up our valuables every day, every night. Um, so then he cut the screen to come in through the window. <clears throat> well, when he did that, I sat him down and I told him, I said, look, you're 15 years old. You don't meet, need me to explain to you <clears throat> that stealing is wrong or why it's wrong. I said, but what we are going to talk about is the consequences for the next time you, you steal from us or from anyone. I said, the next time you steal, you're getting a whipping. I said, it's just that simple. I said, absolutely ridiculous that you're stealing from us. The people who, who gave you love and respect, gave you freedom to do the things you wanted to do. I said, all, I told him, I said, all you're doing is crapping on us. I said, so it stops now. Well, two weeks later, my ex forgot to put her purse in the bedroom and he took 40 bucks out of it. So he got, he got his, he got, he faced the consequences that he told he was going to face. He got a whipping. He called the police. I got a ticket for child abuse and I spent two years on probation because of that. Um, that same night I sent him back to his mom. I said, nope, I'm done. He, he's not listening, whatever. And because his behavior was so bad, his mom could not, um, could not sign over custody to the state fast enough which i mean how bad does your behavior have to be for that but to this day he blames his step parents and his parents for the consequences that he faced um, even though if it hadn't been for his behavior he wouldn't have faced the consequences regardless of whether or not those consequences were appropriate there wouldn't have been any if his behavior would have changed but it just didn't and i did not realize that he still carried that kind of anger. He asked me to leave. Well, he didn't. He he wasn't. He wasn't adult enough to sit down with me and tell me that he wanted me to leave. He had his wife do it, um, and they gave me no notice. Um, I was asked to leave that right then, pack my stuff and leave. Um, although I, if initially I was I was allowed to to leave um, the stuff in the garage. Um, but then they changed their minds, had to take it out. Um, so that's why we're in a storage unit, okay? Um, I, spent an, I, spent, uh, I spent a night in a tent where I almost froze. I mean, literally, I had hypothermia, I was shivering, um, no heat in the tent. Um, but I made it into a, um, I made it into a shelter um, where I have time to, to put money aside so I can get a place of my own, uh, which I was working towards anyways, but it's... Um, I wanted to pay off my credit card and then start saving money. Credit card got paid off. Um, I hadn't had a chance really to start saving money yet because I just paid off the credit card. Um, I can't prove it, but I suspect that he planned the timing when he asked me to leave so that it would be as difficult on me as possible as a, as a way of getting retribution or vengeance. Um, so, but that's why we're in a storage unit. And uh, 
it might take a little while to get out of the storage unit to, to, to get things out of the storage unit and get set up in my own place but it that it, it is what it is um plans when there are warm days like tomorrow's supposed to get up to 57 degrees uh it's, it's 44 feels like 31 with the wind today it's cold uh, <laughs> um, but tomorrow's supposed to get up to 57 so i will shoot plastics tomorrow um in the meantime i will um i will pour jigs and i will get the wire forms ready for spinner baits and buzz baits and i have permission from the shelter to to tie jigs and spinner baits buzz baits in in my room um and shoot the videos in there too so um when it's when i have when i when when weather conditions permit i will shoot plastics but when they don't when they don't permit well i'll be doing uh i'll be doing the jigs and soft plastics from from my room and um the rest of the knowing bass videos will be shot from my room as well so because at any time when it's warm enough to shoot soft plastics i want to be shooting the plastics so um i should get several videos at least two maybe maybe three or maybe four videos done tomorrow with plastics yeah. four might be pushing it um yeah four yeah, actually you know four probably is pushing it we'll be pushing it maybe three <laughs> but i'll get i'll get done when i can and um in the meantime i will be oops well you know i have you know i have skirt material i have a bunch of of new materials for soft plastic or for for jigs and spinner baits and buzz baits i have this uh, i think it's called flashaboo stuff a bunch of different colors of that i have a whole bunch of different colors of 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 hair to tie on jigs and and and, and whatnot um and then i also got some i don't know how well you guys can see these i also get this is a uh, dubbing right there's 24 different colors there between the two um i will as i as i'm able to i will get i will get some more things um so some more some more different types of, of, of materials so we can keep keep a variety of things coming <coughs> um pardon me so so that's where we're at right now I apologize for not having videos up for the last, at least bait videos up for the last couple of weeks, I think, um, or at least a week and a half. Um, it just took time to get set up. It took time to get things moved. Um, the hardest thing to move was this toolbox, and uh, I tipped it over. Take, I rented a U-Haul to move the majority of the stuff, and taking this out, even with all the drawers out, I tipped it over. Oops. <laughs> I bent some of the tracks. Uh, um, I mean, I, I got all the drawers in. There's a couple of drawers that are really stiff. Well, one's super stiff, and a couple are just kind of stiff. Um, so I'm, at some point, I'm going to have to see if I can't replace those tracks. Um, but other than that, everything went well as far as the move. Um, I had to get set up. This is actually my computer desk. Um, but I had to also find where I, because when I put stuff in the, in the unit here, I wasn't really paying attention to what was going where. So I had to come back in and look for all the stuff. <laughs> Lesson learned, I guess, okay? So um, <clears throat> that's where we're at. And um, on Friday, you should have a, a soft plastic video. Okay, So I'm going to save the soft plastic videos for... No, I'm not going to save them. I'll just shoot them when I can and when I don't have, when I, when I, when I don't have the opportunity to, um, to, make, to shoot those, we'll just do jigs. Uh, it's, it's just going to be, it's going to depend on the weather, the temperatures outside and whatnot. It wouldn't be bad today if it wasn't for the stupid wind and the, and the fact that the wind is blowing into the unit. Um, it, it blew my notes all over the place. I had to pick them up, put them back in order. But um, with all that said, folks, I look forward to continuing to make these videos. Um, I still, I'm still hopeful that I can work. Um, that I can work my way off a of disability doing this, which would be actually fantastic. I'd much rather be a productive member of society as opposed to a drain on society, which sometimes I can feel like I am now. But um, but I try to focus on that, try to focus on where I'm going. Um, we create our tomorrows today. And that's how I'm trying to look at this. So any day that I can get over here, I'll be here. Um, I, can, I can pour lead when it's colder out than I can colder temps because I can just close this door 
and I don't really have to worry about lead fumes because we're not getting the lead hot enough for that. So I can, all I have to do is put it, put the molds on top of the smelter there and away we go. You know, I'll get them warmed up and, and I'll be able to do that stuff. So I look forward to, to getting better at make at, at tying jigs, making different things. Bear with me on that. And, um, uh, maybe just enjoy, maybe just enjoy the, the, the journey that I'm sharing. So with all that said, folks, um, until next time, tight lines, calm waters, and God bless.